Anchor just made its splash into the home energy storage market with a new product called the Solix designed to compete directly head to head with market leaders like the Tesla Powerwall. How does this new battery stack up and where exactly did Anchor come from? We're going to be answering those questions and a lot more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 10 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we cover solar panels, batteries, inverters, EV chargers, pretty much any piece of technology or equipment that makes up a home renewable energy system. Uh, and of course a big part of what we cover on this channel is home batteries or home energy storage systems. Now in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Anchor Solix home backup battery. Now Anchor just announced this new battery product at their conference in New York last Tuesday and it's designed to compete directly head to head with the market leading home batteries including Tesla Powerwall, Solar Edge Home Battery, Enphase IQ Battery, uh, and of course the Franklin Whole Home System and the Canadian Solar Battery. Now, we don't have all the full specs on the Anchor battery yet, but here's what we do know. First, the company claims that their battery is enabled or, or will enable for a whole house backup. So we expect there's going to be some sort of a 200 amp transfer switch or gateway that can be used with the battery to enable you to back up the entire home without having to set up a separate critical loads panel. Uh, this is one of the advantages of larger AC coupled batteries like Franklin and Tesla Powerwall where if you install enough battery capacity you can configure it in such a way to have a whole house backup. You don't have to pick and choose certain rooms or certain circuits. You have enough capacity there to power the entire home. Now, in order to achieve that whole house backup though, you have to have the necessary battery capacity. And although Anchor has not yet shared with us the specifications in terms of continuous power and peak power output, what we do know is that the battery storage component is a modular design where you could have as little as five kilowatt hours and we presume each of these blocks is a five kilowatt hour block with the ability to stack multiple blocks per battery stack and then of course the ability to have multiple battery stacks to increase your capacity. Right now the company is advertising total system storage capacity of up to 180 kilowatt hours which is more than enough for a whole house backup. Right now, today's typical whole house backup has between 30 and 40 kilowatt hours of storage. So they're talking about going up total system size up to 180 kilowatt hours. Now, in terms of the chemistry, Anchor does use the newer, safer, more durable lithium iron phosphate chemistry. And that pretty much is the trend that we're seeing. All the top home battery brands are making the move towards LFP, uh, including even Tesla with their next generation battery soon to be announced. They're moving from the older lithium ion to the newer lithium iron phosphate chemistry, uh, which of course has the advantages of lower cost, higher cycle life, uh, and no thermal runaway, meaning that the batteries will not overheat, they will not catch on fire, so they're much safer for use uh, for indoor applications. But wh where did Anchor come from with this product? You know, when I think of Anchor, I think of low cost uh, power accessories, maybe iPhone charging cables. Um, I actually own an Anchor webcam that I use to do a lot of my screen recordings and my, my Zoom calls here at Solar Surge. Um, but recently, Anchor has been venturing into other parts uh, of the electronics market. Uh, for example, they sell a wireless, uh, a wireless microphone kit that I could, I could actually use instead of this wired lavalier mic that I'm using here. Um, they also recently started making portable solar generator kits, uh, including one that I actually consider to be uh, one of the top rated in terms of the specifications. Um, so they, they've gotten into the portable solar generators as well. But the impression that I get from Anchor is that 
they're not necessarily doing a lot of in-house innovation. Rather, they're looking at what products are already on the market. They're looking at what products have kind of risen to the top and proven themselves in terms of popularity. And then they, they, they seek to just build a better version of that, better, cheaper version. Although I should say, I, I wouldn't really consider Anchor a cheap brand. Um, at first glance, and I'll, and I'll admit, when I first looked at, at Anchor and, and the product that I bought, which was a webcam, um, my initial impression was, oh, this is kind of just a, a low cost alternative uh, to, to maybe more of a brand name option, like a Logitech, for example. But when I look at some of their other offerings, like Again, the wireless mics, the portable solar generators, and now the Solix whole home battery. Um, on paper, the, you know, in terms of the specifications, Anchor does not look like they're introducing this as a cheap option. They look like they're introducing this as a direct head-to-head -head competitor with some of the market-leading brands. Again, like Tesla Powerwall, Franklin Whole Home, Solar Edge, uh, and even Canadian Solar now is in the space. So we'll see how all this shakes out. I know one big question that I'm going to have is, will Anchor release this in some version that can be self-installed? Because a lot of their solar products that are on the market today, whether they be the portable generators um, or their apartment balcony solar kit designed to be self-installed by, by renters who live in apartments that wish to deploy solar on, on their roofs, basically, or from their balconies, um, are they going to, to roll this out in some sort of a self-install version where either the entire kit could be installed uh, you know, by, by the homeowner themselves, uh, or maybe if the homeowner already has solar panels and they want to add battery backup, are they going to do this in some sort of a DIY-friendly format? Um, it, it's kind of hard to imagine that, you know, as somebody who's a licensed electrician and I've been an installer or contractor for many years, um, in order to hook this type of battery up to a solar system means you're going to have to, to handle high voltage wiring, high voltage, high amp connections. Um, and, and really, it's, it's not really the kind of work that a typical homeowner is going to do. Uh, unless you're just a really hands-on type of person. I know I, I've worked with a lot of farmers out there who, you know, they, they, they're comfortable working in their own electrical panel, maybe wiring in their own generator hookup. So maybe if that's you and you're okay doing that sort of thing, although realistically, if you want to have something permitted and inspected where you've got permission to, to operate uh, with the power company, with a net metering uh, interconnection type of agreement, then typically that work is going to have to be done by a licensed electrician and it's going to have to be inspected by your local AHJ, you know, your local city or, or county government. Um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, I, I'm not sure that there's anything that prevents the equipment manufacturer from introducing a DIY solution. And that's actually what we've seen from other solar generator vendors uh, like EcoFlow and Blue Eddy, for example. Uh, they have a DIY install kit where you can essentially plug your solar battery or your solar generator into the house, similar to the way that you would just plug a portable generator into the house on a dedicated outlet. So maybe you have the electrician wire in the outlet for you, but then you can do the battery purchase and the hookup yourself. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, either way, I think this is exciting news for the space. Yet another manufacturer getting into the home uh, battery storage market with a whole home backup solution using lithium iron phosphate chemistry. Of course, the AC coupled design means that in theory, it should be able to work with just about any existing grid tie solar system, whether you're using Enphase, Solar Edge, SMA, Fronius, or, or what have you. Um, all of that, in theory, should be compatible with an AC coupled connection. Uh, and of course, we don't have final pricing on the product yet. So I just wanted to make sure that you all were aware of this. Uh, again, this was just announced last week on Tuesday. Uh, Clean Technica picked up the report, and so we wanted to share that with you here as well. And uh, we'll be sure to, to get back to you with the latest information as we get more details, uh, and maybe even include this battery in one of our head-to-head -head comparisons or one of our top five uh, yearly reviews. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Um, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we publish on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider su to subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done so. That way, as we publish new videos, uh, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed so you can stay up to date with us. 
Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there and you're in the process of looking at different solar or battery storage options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote or if you, maybe you already have a quote, you need to get a comparison just to make sure that you're getting the right equipment or getting the best deal, uh, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below there, set up a quick Zoom call either with me or with one of our experts here, and we'd be happy to talk through all the options and get some pricing and some information over to you. Well, folks, I thank you again for spending some time with me in Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.